Hey guys, it's Miss Peanut here again. Um, I've received a lot of requests on how to show you guys how I made my organizers since I um, uploaded my update video. So I've got a couple of different ones and I'm going to try to show you real quick on how you can make your own. They're so, so easy. You guys will be completely shocked. So let's start. I've got a bunch of stuff piled here on the bed. Um, so I'm gonna, I think I have everything I need here, hopefully. So what, the first thing we're gonna talk about is this one. Looks like this. This one is holding all of my pigment shadows. And all this is, is a small cardboard box with spaces cut out for my things. That's all it is. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to do it. And you're gonna be amazed how crazy easy this actually is. So you're just going to take any shape or size of a box that you want, whatever area you have to work with, make sure your box fits, make sure it goes where you want it to go, and you're just going to lay out your product like I've done here and draw a line through it, up around it. And again, I, I used an elf one here, and I've got my outline there. And you can use either, I have them both here. You can use either an X-Acto knife that you can get in the arts and crafts section. I got this one at Walmart. I think it was like three bucks. Or if it's a really thick cardboard box, very carefully, and kids do not do this. Please make sure you have an adult do this part. Um, use a carpet knife like this. But do not do this. Have someone else do it. Because it's really, you could really hurt yourself. So I'm going to sit this on my desk here and angle the camera and show you real quick how to cut it out. I mean, it's so easy. There we go. Hopefully you can see that okay. Let me get my chair out of my way here. So you're just going to, I mean, just cut it out. It's super, super simple. And if the piece falls down in the box, I mean, it's no big deal. It's really easy to stay with your line because it's a sharp, very sharp razor blade. That's why I said kids do not do this. You, um, if you are a kid and you want to do this, go ahead and get your box, draw out your lines, and then have one of your parents cut this out for you, please. Please, because I would feel horrible if someone got hurt doing this. Okay, so I've got that and cut out, and I'm just going to poke it through. So that's all you have to do to get it cut out. And let me get back down here. And then after that, what I've done is I've gotten some wrapping paper from the dollar store. I've got some plain pink. And then I've got some pretty silver with hearts on it. And then this is one of my favorites. So all of these came from the dollar store. And then you're just going to wrap the box just like you're wrapping a gift. And then um, I don't have one partially prepared but after it's wrapped you'll be able to rub across and actually feel where the hole is and then that's when you just take an exacto knife kids let an adult do this part and once you feel it you just, just slide along the outline and it'll cut the hole out for the wrapping paper and then you drop your whatever you cut it out for and set it right down in there and then when you're done you're going to have this. And like I said, you can use any size or shape of box you want. Anything. I mean, it is super cool. It's crazy cheap. I mean, you probably have all this stuff at your house. Um, make sure you use some packing tape and seal the box up nice and tight where it's good and firm. I mean, it's not going to cave. I mean, it's, it's such a great, great idea. I was playing around with some boxes the other day, and I ended up just making one and then I ended up making a lot more. In fact, I gotta grab some more boxes. I wanna make a few more. Okay, now the second thing that I wanted to show you, if you'll go back in my videos to my very first um, makeup organization and collection video, you're gonna see these foam blocks that look like this. Now this was my first idea of organizing. And it is basically the exact same idea as the boxes, except for you're using foam. And you can use sponges, like kitchen sponges, and, and then you're going to put your products on there, trace them out with a Sharpie, 
cut them out with your X-Acto knife. I painted these with some arts and crafts paint um, from Walmart, three bucks. So your foam is going to start looking like it's going to start like this. And here is an outline that I created. Um, what was I using? I think I used this e.l.f. eyeliner, yeah, to make my outline. And then this one cuts very, very simple as well using the X-Acto knife. I put it in there and push it all the way through because it won't go all the way through the foam. And then just start cutting. And um, it took, I don't really know how long it took for the paint to actually dry. I let mine set overnight and then the next morning I put my cosmetics in them. and. It was awesome. I mean, it's a really cool idea. I kind I like arts and crafts, so as if you can already tell, because I'm making all these things. But I don't know. It's smart. It's fun. It's cheap. I mean, you can buy sponges anywhere of any shape or color. Or and like I said, this is some kind of packaging foam that my boyfriend had, and I just had the idea. And so once you make sure you're drawing your line and just poke all the way through, all the way around. You're not going all the way through the foam, I promise. It might feel like it, it you'll even hear it, hear that? But it isn't, it's just that one little spot that actually is. You'll see that in a second. And then you can actually, let me, and then you can actually push it out like this, and you can either cut it or you can pull it. I mean, just whatever you wanna do, I'll cut this one out. I don't want to pull a hole in it. I'll, let me pull it down here and show you. So it'll make a little sense to you. Just push it. Put your thumb on the back of it. And push it through like that. And then again, kids, please don't do this. Uh, leave the razor blades to an adult. Honestly, because I don't want you getting hurt. So you're just going to pull up on it. And then just take your razor blade across the bottom of it gradually a little bit at a time and then in a second we're gonna have a big hunk of foam in our hand like this and then you're gonna have a hole like this and then you can stick your makeup in it like that you can do it sideways yeah sideways is how I cut it so even if you cut it sideways like this I I have my um, I have my loose pigments like this, with the tip up like this. See? With a point up. So it looks it looks neat. And these are just a few a little design ideas. You could like I said, you can use sponges and you um, this is just a piece of foam. I mean it's nothing major. And then with the box organizers, any box, any shape, you can get a huge one, you can get little bitty ones, just whatever you want to do and, and work with it. Go with your favorite colors for the wrapping paper. Um, make sure you have a very sharp cutter. And again, one more warning kids, don't do this, please. Um, make sure you have something sharp. Make sure you have a, a fine tip marker to outline your products, a box or a piece of foam and if you're using a box grab you some pretty wrapping paper and that's it and this is what the foam looks like in a finished product I don't I think I have powders or eyeshadows or something in this one I'm not exactly sure and this one here I had a bunch of concealers in it and this one I pulled it out to show you see you can go with circle you can go with any shape this was an end of a tube that went down in there. I mean, so this is a lot of fun. If you guys have any questions or comments, um, definitely drop them in the box. I'll make sure I check the comments in this one. Um, if you would like me to get back to you like rather quickly, inbox me, and that'll be no problem. I'll help you out as much as I can. Um, I'm currently working on another project idea. I can show you a little piece of it. My boyfriend got this from his work today. I don't know what this was for. It was in some kind of packaging. And so I'm cutting myself one or two for a drawer and stuff. And it's this 
this is kind of I don't even know what to call it some kind of a foam and it's got these lines in it and I already tried it my palettes will fit right in these lines so I mean just use your imagination and have fun with it if you haven't subscribed please do got any questions or comments drop them in the box or you're welcome to inbox me and you can follow me on Twitter I'm at peanuts 39 P N U T Z and you guys have a great, great night, and thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.